Good evening folks, welcome back. So tonight we're out at Botany and uh, once again on the agenda is another catch and cook. Now the conditions haven't been this good for so long uh, and the last couple of times I've been out it's just been shoddy weather but uh, nonetheless the fishing looks good. So um, the last couple of weeks in the fishing community the reports have been uh, having a good run of Taylor through Botany. So tonight I've um, got myself and uh, a couple of crew members here. We're here to join the band, Hello. the bandwagon, just to uh, <laughs> see if we can get onto some fish. And uh, also the aim for the catch and cook is um, we're going to be. Um, I've got a sensational recipe up my sleeve, and uh, the first three keepers that we're going to get is going to be tonight's dinner. So hopefully um, that shouldn't take too long, eh, gentlemen? <laughs> yeah, give me five, mate. Give me five. <laughs> Yeah, so, so now we're going to start fishing uh, and I'll show you the tackle that I'm using as well uh, just to give you a rundown on the gear that I'm using. Okay, so as mentioned earlier, uh, this is the rig that I'm using. So on this rod, it's just basically a 6 kilo line as the main line and I've got a 50 pound leader just with a small um, ball sinker and the leader is about 60 centimeters long but it's about 50 pounds just due to the fact that uh, these tail have got really sharp teeth and we don't want to be bitten through. Uh, trip hook snell, starting off with one o, ending up with two o, and uh, the bait that we're using is just half a pill. Let's so make one up to uh, share what it looks like. Just give you a close up on this sailor here. So just as mentioned um, earlier, why we're using 50 pound line. Now the camera's focusing on it, but um, you see the tailor got a heavy arsenal of teeth there. If I was to pull my finger where its mouth is, I'll get a nasty bite. I'll probably take off a chunk of my meat as well. So two more of these, and we've got dinner happening.
Long day. Probably have to measure it. It's bloody borderline. No, it looks bigger than it looks there. Yeah. But I'll measure it anyway, just to be sure. Okay. Woo! We'll tail in number three. Okay, so we have our dinner now. But um, just gotta keep fishing for a bit. Don't think any of you chaps are hungry yet, eh? Uh, actually, it's supposed to be good. Uh, excuse me. Just gotta make sure. Yeah, easy. Okay, so we're ready for our catch and cook now. Um, I mentioned earlier, um, after the first three keepers, dinner was going to be happening, but um, the fishing was so hot, we actually got more than what we need for our dinner. Just give me a quick rundown on what we've got in here. Okay, so this pretty good mixed bag there. This be a very nice size yellowtail, but um, the recipe I had in mind today was going to be Taylor, so we haven't Taylor on the menu. So just grab out a few, three of us here. So three lovely Taylors. Do you guys want to have brim? Yeah, we'll have brim. One brim just for a taster. There we go. Whatever the food alchemists. So these three fish here ones. equals dinner. So as for now, um, off camera, I'm just going to quickly process these and I'll show you the next part of the process. Okay, so with all the prep work done, so what I've done to this fish is um, they've just been cleaned. The tailors, I've cut them in half. It's just so uh, they fit nicely in the steamer. The steamer I've brought along today is quite a small one. So uh, <laughs> it might be a bit of a struggle to fit them all in. Um, I also didn't mention what the recipe is gonna be. So what we're having tonight is um, these fish are gonna be steamed in foil parcels with some glass noodles, um, some maybe king oyster mushrooms, ginger and shallots. And uh, the base of the sauce that it was uh, basically a fermented black bean. Um, I'll include it on the side footage just to show you how the sauce is made. And the ingredients in this sauce is basically a bit of um, soy sauce, sugar, oil, and uh, the fermented black bean, and a bit of water just to dilute it. So uh, without further ado, uh, let's start prepping it up and we'll start cooking. For each parcel, just tear up a nice, generous bit of foil. And we, we use a double layer just so they don't rip. We don't want any accidents while we're cooking. So, the first parcel, what I'm going to do is um, the bottom, I'm going to lay it with some glass noodles. So, these noodles were just dried glass noodles. I've soaked them in water just to soften them up and uh, they'll retain a bit of moisture in there as well. Then, also, next up, just line it with a handful of these uh, baby king mushrooms and some chopped onion. Alright, so the first fish I'll prep up is the brim. So inside the cavity of the brim I'll just um, put a few slivers of fresh ginger and uh, a bit of onion as well. And we'll lay in the top with some shallots, probably a bit more onion too, just to maybe prevent it from sticking to the foil as it cooks. And then, um, last but not least, we'll blow the sides up so the sauce doesn't run everywhere. Just give it a little shake. Spoon in the sauce. Just make sure we get a bit of that fermented black bean on it as well. And uh, be quite generous with this because the fish juices, along with the sauce, will mingle with the noodles quite nicely, and it's going to be sensational. What we we'll do now? So carefully fold it little parcel so that it doesn't leak everywhere in the steamer. And 
and then later we'll just serve it in these uh, foil parcels. So there's no need for dishes. Hopefully all three of these parcels will fit in the steamer. We'll wait and see. All right, so uh, next up we'll do the tailor. And then we'll bung on our tailor. Some ginger in there. Okay, so uh, <laughs> looks like we might struggle to fit them into the steamer, but uh, let's work it out. We might be able to get two in there to start off with. Yeah, okay, so it fits two. Alrighty, so the steam is hot and um, we'll just bung it straight into a hot steamer. Just bring it in for a close up for you. Okay, okay so, so with, for these parcels, they're fairly large and there's quite a lot of foil. I'm going to give them 25 minutes cooking time and um, that should be sufficient to get them nice and tasty. So I'll put it back on. Check back in in 25 minutes time. Okay, so um, 25 minutes has passed. I think the fish are just about ready. Let's turn off the steamer now. And in for a close up there. Yeah, that looks ready. So um, as mentioned earlier, each parcel is pretty much a meal already served it on its own dishes. I managed to have two in there, so I'll, um, I'll get the fellas to eat first and um, let's see what they think. I know it's going to be good because I cooked it, but uh, <laughs> let's see if the fellas agree. I'm keen to see what it's like on the inside. Let's open it up. Let's see what oh, you... these are brim. Oh, that must be the brim, yeah. This is the brim. This is the brim. There's only one bit, so you eat brim. Yeah, you want the brim or? No, 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 you eat it. Yeah? Oh, oh, like oh far yeah. out, bruh. What oh, oh, dude. Yeah. So, um, that's tonight's dinner. Oh. And, um, as I mentioned earlier, I know it's going to be good because I cooked it, but, uh, oh, <laughs> let's mate. see what Kit thinks. I reckon it's probably um, not as flavorful though, it's a bit lack, but it doesn't matter. It's, it's so fresh that it's um, ginger. Gong it's someone. really firm. No, no, it's really firm. Do you think? Do you think? Do you think? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. All right. All right. Oh, really good, man. Yeah. She has a bit of noodles, bro. Oh, the bean just like complimented it all, hey. Just yeah. like, oh, just look at that one. Mmm. Okay, mm. I can't wait to crack open mine. <laughs> I'll be cooking this at home. Yeah, no, definitely. And that's easy, bro. So you see, you don't make too much mess either. You know, yeah. Spung it all in there. You can well, you'd so have just, to do... just in the foil and just put everything, combine it in there. Yeah, wrap it up and then into yeah. the steamer, bro. And yeah. the glass noodle is like is um. You're gonna soak it first. Soak it first. Yeah, oh, you gotta right, soak right, first, yeah. right. No, I watched the video, bro. It's got the full uh, full um, uh, <laughs> demonstration. I'm not doing this one, bro. Huh? Okay, so. Anton's gonna have a crack at the tailor and um, it's probably a bit challenging because um, Anton doesn't actually eat fish. So uh, we'll see how it goes. Mm. Let's see if um, the food alchemist can uh, show him what he's been missing out on. Actually, I'm not sure if I want him to be able to eat fish because oh, room. Oh, no, uh, because that means that there'll, there'll be, there won't be as many much fish for us next time. <laughs> Mixed bags. <laughs> yeah. Mm. So good. Noodle. Yeah, that's that's the tailor there. I'll have a cut. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, look at the meat. Yeah. Mix it with either with the noodle, bro. Yeah, yeah the, the meat is like bottom. Tender, bit tender and sweet. Oh my sweet savory. Mm. No, I'm just waiting for my one to cook now. Mate. Bloody hell, I'm getting jealous, man. So, I'm getting jealous. <laughs> <laughs> How can you get this on a boat, man? Seriously. <laughs> I, I need a bigger steamer, man. No, man, it's nice. It's good. Yeah. So, um, 
Can we let my mum can cook like this? <laughs> I'm pretty sure she can though. <laughs> yeah, um, just tell her don't watch that part, eh? <laughs> I'm not gonna edit it out, man. I'll leave it in there. So, yeah. That's good. Yeah, very good. All done. Now my meat. Alright, so it's my turn to eat now. Finally, um, so so far tonight's been uh, quite epic and as you probably wouldn't notice, it's been far and few my catching course. One very simple fact, it's been all work and no play, but I'm glad to be here tonight. But um, just to give you guys a heads up as well, coming up in May, so we're at the end of April now, uh, we've got a bit of time off, so on, on the agenda there, we've got a couple of um, overnight trips uh, that I plan to do with the boat, and also I'm going to be doing, going to a, an inland lake for a camping trip with my dog, so stay tuned for those videos. Uh, but as for now, I'm going to quickly smash this um, dinner of mine and go back to fishing. But, uh, watch right to the end for some more fishing action because um, the fish slow down a bit now, but they're going to start uh, biting again soon. <laughs> Just says, uh, blue one has got a bite there, have you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, 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 oh. In the boat, bro. In the boat, not outside the boat. <laughs> Yay! Finally! Hey, yeah, you got his first sailor. Is that your first one, bro? Uh, yeah, uh, second. Oh, yeah. Finally, off this wheel. Double hook up, eh? You too, yeah, bro. Uh, you too, huh? Go on, mate. What's the one with the square head? The square head protection. What's the protection? Oh, yeah. Yeah. That one's protected. Like, you someone more. Come up, uh, chick me, I'm here. Yeah. What's that fish? This is a wobby gong. Wobby gong. Protected. Yeah. No, no. Edible. No. Yeah, but not nice, man. So, I'm gonna yeah. let this guy go. Oh, look at the face in that. You pull like a flatty man. Alright, got speed, brother. What do you reckon it is, bro? I love it. Don't know you want it? I Nice, nice salad, bro. Good, decent. Oh, oh no! no! <laughs> okay, here's what not to do. <laughs> okay. No! What not to do? Whoa, 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 bro! This one's fighting hard. Okay, bro. Stratic. Yeah, stratic power. <laughs> Must be the music. Need net on, I need your eyes. Yeah, but I want to lift this thing up, man. Why are you going to lift it up? Wait, what the hell is that? Not Taylor, bro. Taylor, eh? Bong Boo. Oh, wow, look. Yeah. Nó nó lõi trên đây vậy là What you catch there? Oh come on. Oh good boy. Oh baby. Oh. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Oh. The fat one too, bro. The biggest one of the night. Oh. 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 Told you, bro. Just change the change oh, the hook too. Daddy. Oh my god. Is it a tailor? Looks like a Jewy man. No, 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 no that's a tailor. Yeah. That's a fat tailor. Oh, this one, this one deserves uh, a photo, bro. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Yeah. yeah, baby. Come to daddy. Revenge! <laughs> Finally, huh? Finally. Oh, hello. Is that what you are? Uh, it wasn't the last one. Last time was last time was something bigger. This one just put a little resistance. 
Okay, so we're gonna call it a night um, now. The guys are just getting, as true fishermen do, their last cast in. And uh, so far it's been quite an epic night. We ended up with a sensational cook-up and um, a lovely mixed bag to bring home. So also, if you, um, you're just tuning into my channel now, hit that subscribe button and you see if you'd like to see more uh, videos like this. Yeah, so as mentioned earlier, I'm go, I've got some um, awesome upcoming trips coming. So stay tuned for those. And uh, once again, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give us a like. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already and share it to your friends. And until the next video, bye for now.